Hello, hello everyone, and we are back with more Warcraft for you. And of course, the finals of Warcraft 3 Survival Battle 2022 tournament, which I started a cast for you guys, but we were in the middle of the patch. And for those of you that were here, you know that we had some issues. And it's just the way Blizzard has made the game. As soon as they release a patch and the game gets updated, um, all the older version replays uh, gets broken for some old reason. And I couldn't continue doing what I was doing, but I did the all the first... No, actually I did the whole of round one. And then I did one or two matches from round two and uh, not the rest of it. And also nothing from round three either. But here we are and the first semi-final. Map number one, Concealed Hill, between Moon, here in the bottom left, versus his opponent today, Focus, as the old player, up in the upper right corner. And let's see what's going to happen here. Focus, lately, has been looking very good on big tournament. Especially against all the elves, whether it's moon or low light, it doesn't matter. Focus has been showing some focus things. Uh, he's been very good in Orc Mirror as well, including punishing Lin not long ago. A player's force but let's go. Attack. We have Keeper opening here versus Blade Master, Archer, and Grand. And Moon begins the action with the Ancient of War. Surprise, surprise, of course. We all know about the elves and they're fast creeping. Faster than anyone else. Circlet. A very good first item for Moon. Focus scouted this with a peon. So. We should be in for a treat here, fellas. Oh, Moon cancelled. What did he cancel there? Was that a third moon or moon well? Or was it a shot? In any ways, moon continues now with the green camp on the other side of his base. Focus still wandering around with that peon, not too far. Flippers of agility now for that keeper and level 2 as well. Okie dokie. And Focus is literally looking for that peon to get killed, I guess. And now the Blade Master and the Grunt are making their way down towards Moon's direction. And here they're gonna steal some of that elf experience here. And there you go, level 2 Blade Master. Gloves of Haste. Interesting. And Moon is targeting the Grunt. He's going to take it. Oh, Focus tried to deny it, but he couldn't. He's going into tier A 2 in the meanwhile. Now attack. another Grunt has been queued up. He also activated on the Blade Master. Ooh. This Archer will live to see another day for now. Huntress is being queued up now. Keeper going up towards Focus's base now. And he's got a Huntress with him as well. Whoop. This peon. What is he doing here? He sees this nonetheless. Uh, what's Focus's response here going to be? This Keeper will get level 3 here after this camp. Of course, that's if he finishes the camp. He's not going to. And actually, that was not going to be enough for level 3. Now, Blade Master back. Circle on the Blade Master as well. And now, okay. All got strength plus 3. And Moon just bought the Star for teleportation. And now this Treant will be... Another victim for the Blade Master. Moon is finishing off this camp. 
Playmaster here, Windwalk. He's gonna look for the keeper now. Knowing that he's somewhere nearby. And nearby certainly he was. <laughs> here to finish, Shadow Hunter comes. Beast Tree and Spirit Lodge. Meanwhile, Moon is still waiting for that tier 2 for him to finish. Slightly ahead with the hero experience. Mirror image for focus. Not critical damage, okay. A player's forces are under attack. I guess he will only go one mirror image. Uh, just to be sure he can escape entanglement. And I like what Moon has been doing with the Huntresses right now. He's sending the Huntresses, clearing out those little green camps here and there. And town is because the seat. Keeper is a solo hero for now, he continues to get that experience. Now the shop comes straight into tier 3 for Moon. And we probably going to see talents. Moon likes to play Fairy Dragons, but Fairy Dragons against Orc though. I don't know how effective that will be. Against Undead, very super effective. But I guess against Orc. Uh, would be talents. That is the strongest thing you can do against Ulk to begin with. But we got Raiders who are very good against talents or can be. But I believe Focus need Spirit Walkers as well against talents, not shamans. Actually, he can still manage to solve these, but he's gonna need a lot of raiders, a lot more raiders. His forces are under attack. Although, maybe other the couple demolishes behind his army as well. That will that will force Moon to keep coming forward, uh, looking for the fight eventually, because there will be no way to continuously run away from this. There will be just too much damage to simply ignore. And as the old player, that's exactly what you want. There was a game I watched between, I believe it was Hitman and Pato. And Hitman literally shows everyone, all the old players, how to play as a Blade Master build with the Shadow Hunter as well. Against talents, mass talents. It was very difficult. I believe actually it was concealed heal. No, it wasn't concealed heal. It was different map. A player's was it last refuge maybe? Um, but he he went on three three gold mines, and he added some extra uh, demolishes as well. And what he actually did, it was such a difficult game for him. But I remember what he actually did. He he got those extra demolishes, and also added. Um, extra Witch Doctors as well. Uh, for the stun. And Pato didn't see that coming. I believe it was Pato. Could it be someone else? One of the better... NA Night Owls. But I believe it was Pato. It doesn't matter. Now this uh, Blade Master is in trouble. Moon managed to take down the Zeppelin and that is dead Blade Master. And there we go, the talents. Potion of greater mana on the keeper. Hope of Venom as well. Circlet. Clippers of Agility on the Demon Hunter. Ay 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 ay. Focus. Focus seems to be not so focused so far in this game. Is he going tier 3? No. Blade Master reviving. Oh, Master Training on the Talents very soon. Wellspring Ultra Vision upgrades for Moon as well. Oh my days. And Moon knows he's ahead. And he's gonna take on that big red cap in the middle. And look at this. Look at this Legion of Doom. Transfers it to the Keeper. Keeper sends the Staff of Teleportation onto the Demon Hunter. 
and he's gonna keep that stuff of preservation for himself. Those few huntresses still in the game, creating a nice little barrier in front of the talents, making them more difficult to kill. A player's forces are under attack. I'm going to take in on the goblin merchant now. Focus here lost so much time and so much presence on the map as well. It is ridiculous. Illusions, Ember Potion, Heal Potion, or oh, this Steam Hunter is becoming unbeatable, if you ask me. And now Focus is coming here for the Red Drake onto the east side. But Moon will see this. Maybe Focus doesn't have a bit of luck in this game either. How can he just start creeping this and Moon will see it and come right behind him? And now Moon plays this cleverly. He's like, okay, I'm gonna let you do that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start going towards your base. And any unit coming your way to support your army, I'm gonna take him one by one. The flute on the Blade Master. Maybe he was hoping for a better item. Flute of Accuracy. Forces are under attack. Also very good item. But the problem is that Moon uh, doesn't really have any Dryads or Archers with the Flute can be effective then against. Yes, the Talons are also ranged units, but they are magical units. So therefore, I agree with Focus selling the item. It was absolutely useless in this scenario. So you might as well get the money and invest into something else. Maybe get a orb of lightning for that Blade Master. That might be beneficial. This Shadow Hunter's got zero items in it. Let's just stick with Focus a little while longer. Just to see what he's gonna come up with. There's the Kodo, there's the Headhunters. He's transitioning into Headhunters. Scroll of the Beast. A scroll of Healing. That could be actually very good. I think he might need a second scroll of Healing. Serpent Ward here, placed by Focus. And Moon is taking on the Red Camp to the west. Room braces. A player's forces are under attack. Is that what he got from this camp? Room braces. Hmm. Could have been way better. Now focus is taking on the gold mine camp here and cycling from the talent. And now, what do you do if you are focused? Can you deal with this? Do you have enough? Technically, Focus got the bigger army. But Moon with the Immolation as well though. Moon didn't go... Oh, okay. He actually went for Evasion as well. But Immolation and Evasion are all at level 1. Uh, Focus started to managing to find some kills, but also he lost the Grunt and two... Raiders and all headhunters as well. Now he's gonna lose that code or two. No, there's still two alive headhunters, but they're they're caught in cycles. Two raiders more. And snare on the demon hunter again. This demon hunter is so 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 hard to kill now. Okay, more dead huntresses. And surprisingly, Focus did really well in this fight. I was expecting worse. I'll be the first to admit I was expecting way worse for Focus here. But he actually managed very, very, very well. And now he's gonna finish this. Um, that he started earlier. Blade Master level 4, not too bad. 
Shadow Hunter level 3. Balls of attack plus 9. Crit damage at level 2 upgraded. And uh, is he going to get a orb of lightning? Forces are under attack. I want to see orb of lightning on this blade. That illusion now. Chased by Moon. And as you can see, guys, the mirror image build that everybody got excited prior to the patch, it's not going to be played by anyone. Believe me, it's so useless. I think it's fair to say already. After what has been now a week since the patch got released. Was it been a, a week? I don't know. Feels like it's been a week now. It's safe to assume that the Blade Master mirror image is the worst thing in the game right now. By far. And it's not even close. So believe me when I tell you. You're not going to see anything change there. It was a good idea by blizzard but i think he was executed poorly um i think they overdid it and that's always a risk when you try and balance the game and make attack. a new patch in they just overdid it it's not worth the risk at all you you give so much experience and the damage is so little as well it's just not worth it. So when you see Blade Master by the top players, you're going to see exactly the same thing. They will go one mirror image just to be able to escape entanglement if they play against Tifa. But the rest will be Wind Walk and critical damage for leading. And now Focus is here cornered. And I'm not sure he wanted to fight here, but now he's got no choice. No TP on either of his heroes or treants from behind as well yeah this is not looking good for focus at all he's still fighting showing courage showing big cards doesn't want to just give up but it's very difficult to fight there very very difficult and there you go he quits gg and that is one nil for moon all right all right here we go with the second game between Moon and Focus of the semi-final. Best out of three. And this is Last Refuge. Moon this time in the upper right corner. Unlike the previous game. And now Focus will be in the bottom left corner. So let's see. This is semi-finals. Best out of three. And if Focus doesn't come up with something now... He will be out of the tournament and Moon will go on the final. We have a chance of seeing Night Elf, completely Night Elf mirror final here. The other semi final is between Lulayat and Labyrinth. Are we going to see Elf mirror finals? And are we going to see a lot of Night Elf mirror finals this patch? Or are we going to start seeing a lot of humans now get into finals? Who knows? They already won a tournament, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, could we see Focus recovering and make him to the final? And maybe Labyrinth will make it to the final as well. And we're going to get a nice Orc versus Undead. Who knows? Let's see, Blade Master again. And Keeper again. Everything seems back to normal. And now the Archer pulling that creep back. And this Ancient of War will start slapping the Ogre Warrior. And here we go. Here we go! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's Peon gets entangled. And uh, that's fine by focus. Anyway, 
he knows what he wanted to know by now. The player's forces are under attack. Let's go over to focus. Okay, he's got dust of appearance. And circlet. Okay, replenishment potion. Very, very, very useful. And he's gonna make his way and try and steal this item here. No, he's gonna start looking for the keeper now. Who is level 2 already and oopsie daisy. You see those two items? That inventory on the keeper is sick. Town is under siege. Those are sick early game items. And Moon is just getting luckier and luckier with those items. And you know what they say. The harder you work, the luckier you get. And that's exactly what's happening with Moon right now. All those years of continuously improving his craft now pays off in this game he's got very good items in the first game as well but definitely not bad at all already at the start of this game and focus still wandering around the map with his blade master probably looking for the keeper now again he just can't find him. And Focus is getting dangerously close to level 3. A player's force clearing out attack. the natural for... Uh, forgive me, that, I, I, I was meant to say moon. <laughs> oh, long day at work. I'm getting tired. But yeah, moon clearing out the natural for Focus. And he's gonna get level 3 here. Oh, no! One kill away, and there's the kill. No, Focus will deny this with a creep. Yep. No level 3 yet for Focus. Uh, for Moon. Jesus Christ, if I mix them up one more time, I'm gonna have to retire tonight prematurely. Okay, Moon is hiding archers. There's the blade and the keeper. Crossing ways. How? Oh my god. Oh my god. How did he knew? Wait, am I missing something? Is there a sentry ward anywhere? No, what's the point of using reveal if there's a sentry ward? Oh, I'm so silly. You know how he knew? Okay, you see when they cross paths? Moon probably had um, his focus on the keeper at the time. He realized like, hold on, why am I, why my keeper is being blocked and like had to sort of like walk around, shimmy around. And that's when he realized, okay, that must be him with the wind walk here. And we just crossed path. Reveal. And guess what? He saw it. Guys, do you see the level of those players? When am I ever going to do that? Probably I'll be walking like this with my hero if that ever happened to me and I'll be thinking like nothing of it. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> world class. World class. Them Koreans, man. Them Koreans, they are born different guys, I'm telling you. So many legends in our favorite game. Moon, Lin, forces are under attack. Focus, Luke, Lucifer, also known as. The list is so big, so long. It's ridiculous. Not to mention games like League of Legends now. Where Koreans are dominating as well. Starcraft where Koreans have been dominating for a very long time. I'd actually say if, if anything, Warcraft is... Warcraft is sort of like changing. I'd say like Chinese have been more dominant in Warcraft compared to the Koreans overall. 
But the Chinese also have been catching up to the Koreans as well when it comes to other games too. Like some of the best players in League of Legends are also Chinese. Um, what else? Forces are under attack. I don't follow StarCraft that much anymore as I used to before. Obvious reason. My choice is clearly Warcraft always have been so i'm not very aware whether there's any like sick chinese players in starcraft probably they are i won't be surprised also the russians as well they are picking up i know some of the best players in Do dota 2 are russians also our best player in the world is russian as well happy uh, there's also a few other very good players coming from there like hulk Hulk just come on top of my head. And that's good to see, man. Esports has grown so much over the years, it's unrecognizable. And is it just me, the only fool that... Back in the day, you know, when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of football. Uh, for those of you of in US, you call it soccer, guys, over there. Under attack. Uh, but I don't really pay attention to that stuff anymore. Obviously, I still do, but not the way I used to. Which is weird, because my favorite team, which is Arsenal, they compete in the Premier League in the UK. They're actually doing really well this year. Nobody saw this coming. They got a really young squad and they're top of the league right now currently five five points ahead of the second place team and they also have a game in hand so technically if they win that game in hand they're eight points ahead but no as i was saying am i the only fool i actually enjoy watching esports way more than anything else that is my entertain. Not just esports, like in general, I like watching like Warcraft free content mainly. Uh, I like watching what Grubby is doing on his channel and stuff like that. But I love the esports, man. I love watching back to Warcraft. Proto gaming. I've been following him for a very long time as well i like his videos i like his knowledge on the game i don't know dead tc here let me know guys let me know do you enjoy esports as much as i do there's clearly millions of followers loads of people are watching it Yeah, such is life now. I'm planning to watch the Dota 2 finals from last year, I believe. Uh, but that's going to be when I have more time. Not right. Now. And actually, I saw today Warcraft 3 Champions on the Discord that message that the Dota 1 is now on the W3 Champions um, service. I didn't even know that still exists, but I'm glad it does. I might try it out soon as well. Have a game or two. But there we go. Focus, Koze, GG. 2 0 for Moon in best out of three. And Moon is the first finalist of the Warcraft Survival Battle 2022. And here is a little bit of the overall score for you guys the units, the heroes. Uh, it's all in favor of Moon, really. He was very dominant in these semi-finals. Uh, looked the better player overall. Um, kept charging both games, game one and game two. Never really looked backwards. And he is on the final. Thank you guys for watching this with me. I love you all. And I'll catch you on the next one.